everyone, this is Jason's back with another UO Outlands video. In this video, we're going to improve our mining script based on a recent patch. We'll learn more about razor features like the double click by type and organizer agents. I'll also show you how you can actually easily get names, IDs, and serials inside the UO client using razor commands. It's actually kind of funny because I posted my first video on March 2nd about creating a mining script for clicking a pickaxe and targeting yourself. Then the patch on March 5th actually made the double click of a pickaxe do target self. So the good news is in my last video, I received some comments about mining speed that we can adjust here for even quicker gains. I used a dress macro to make sure that we had a pickaxe in our hand and utilize the hotkey use item in hand. In this video, we'll actually use a different technique, the double click by type. All right, let's get started. As always, don't forget to select a profile first. So that way any keys we make, hotkeys we set, will be saved to that profile. Today we're going to choose please subscribe. After you select your profile, let's head on over to the scripts tab. Now to help organize things, let's add a new category by right clicking and then saying add category. We'll name this one mining. Don't forget to click on your new category and then click new. And this is where we'll name our script. We're going to start with an exit script. This will just be overhead done for now. Save and play. That's working. We'll set a hotkey. Set it to up on my keyboard. Set. Go back over to scripts. And now up runs that script. Something that's worth mentioning is you can actually set custom hues for this message. By default, it shows under options, razor hue, razor message hue, and it's green. Uh, that green color is actually 68. So if we hop back over to the overhead done for now, and if I play this, it's in this green. If I type zero, it actually will be white. One will be black. So you can play around with this until you find a color you like, um, but we're gonna use one for this script now. Oops, I'm sorry, zero. Okay, now it's time to add a mining script. We're actually gonna call it gathering. So click on your mining category, click new, razor script gathering. First thing we're going to want to do is start the script off with clear sys message. This makes sure we don't run into any existing system messages. Next, we'll utilize the double click function, the click type, and we'll attempt to click a pickaxe. We'll want to wait at least one second for mining, uh, so I'm going to add a little bit of a buffer. We're going to check to make sure we don't run into any resource messages. If in sys message do not see any, and if we do, we want to script exit and loop. We're going to save this, set it as a hotkey, right, set. Let's try it out. As you can see, I got the capture code, so I right away click the ground and hit up to exit my script. We're going to answer the capture the best we can. Six, it's a crazy looking two and a three. And capture successful. All right, now we're going to hit right to go back to our script. We have it. I get what you're thinking. Holy crap, Jace, that's a lot less code and it mines way faster. And I have to say thanks for all the suggestions uh, that people provided in the comments and on Discord. Again, warning here, you don't want to use this unattended. The fast mining speed will recheck at the capture even faster. And if you don't answer it right away, you're definitely going to get locked out of resource gain. Always make sure to use your exit hotkey script whenever you see the capture pop up. I'm going to add one quick thing to this script just because I'm a visual person. I'm going to say overhead mining with the color of white. How did I know to use the double click type pickaxe here? Let's explore the script a bit further and learn more about Razor and targeting. Razor has some built-in functions on the UO client to help interact with objects. To review the options, you can type a greater than help in chat. That will bring up a list of Razor commands. The most helpful tool here is actually going to be info. Using this command on an item, we'll show you the item name, serial, ID, and hue double click by type you can actually use the name or the ID I prefer to use the name just so it's more readable some scripts require ID 
but for this one, we can leave it as pickaxe. To show the script still works with the name or the ID, here's an example. I can click the blue icon next to one of these, and it copies the value to the clipboard. So I'm just going to come over here and paste that over, save, play. And as you can see, it still works. I'm going to go ahead and undo that for now because I prefer the name being there. If you use the info command on a player, you actually get a more detailed mobile data. Play around with the help command and the info command in chat to find more useful information about how you want to use the client. Let's talk about range checks real quick on double click type. Right now, it attempts to search all around your character to find a pickaxe. For example, if I drop this on the ground and I play the macro, it automatically picks up the pickaxe that was on the ground. If you're too far away, it will actually report a I can't reach that message. Why does that happen? Under the options tab, there are range checks here. By default, they're turned off. If we turn it on and then run the macro again, it actually errors the script because it can't find a pickaxe. We can also force our script to look at a specific container, like our backpack, when searching for an item to use. If you head on back over to the scripts gathering, you can add backpack to the end of double click type. What that's going to do is it's going to try to use a pickaxe that's in our backpack. If you're following along, you can actually see that the script aired when it ran again because we no longer have a pickaxe in our backpack. In order to solve this, we could do a similar feature where we're saying if our if the right hand empty zero double click the backpack pickaxe and then hotkey use item in hand okay it's basically saying hey is your right hand empty if so double click a pickaxe that's in your backpack and then use the hockey item in hand. To simplify this script, we'll go ahead and undo these and just go back to relying on range check. Where would you find the backpack useful? Something that you know you want to use from your own backpack, maybe like bandages. Because if you're in your house and you have bandages around you or things around you, you want to make sure that you're using the items that are on character, not around your character. All right, now that we're mining, and we understand how this script works, what can we do to help check our backpack space? We can solve this problem multiple ways, but the simplest for now will be a weight check. If you open your status bar, you'll see how many stones you can carry based on your strength and any other skills you might have, like camping. For my character, I have 100 strength, so my max weight is 390 stones. Weight is a built-in variable in Razor, so we can add a simple check of weight being greater than our max weight of 390. To test this, we're gonna first add a weight check we know will trigger. If weight is greater than 290, and if overhead too heavy, it will break. We run this get a too heavy message and it never attempts to mine. Don't forget to add the break, that way it exits the loop. All right, so we added that weight check, but now I'm getting really tired of running back to the forge. So let's use a pack horse. Moving ore onto the pack horse is really as simple as just setting up an organizing agent. To do this, we click the agents tab. We scroll down to organizer one. From here, we'll say add target. Click the ore that's in our backpack. What we'll want to do then is a clear hot bag or set hot bag. What that will do is bring up a selection. We'll click on our pack horse. If we click on our pack horse once, it now shows you that it's the organizer one hot bag. To test, we can just organize now. Your four should be on your pack horse. To call an organizer agent from a razor script, we'll simply want to add that organizer and the agent number. Uh, so head over to your scripts tab where it says overhead too heavy, we'll say organizer one, we'll remove the break statement, save, to test, put the ore back to our backpack, and hit play. As you can see, the first thing it did is checked our weight. We were over 290, so it moved the ore 
were over. I continued to try to mine, but did not find anything. Let's go to another spot. Try again. Looks good. I couldn't find a way to see if the pack horse is full or not. But if it is, your ore starts to fall to the ground. So just make sure you return to town before your horse hits the 2000 stone mark. Alright, just to wrap up, in this video we reviewed another example of mining using the double click by type. We learned how to use the info and help features from Razor, how to check our weight and set up an organizer agent from a script. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for subscribing. If there's something you're trying to do and would like some help, just shout it out in the comments or hit me up on Discord. If you have any feedback on how I can make these videos better, please just let me know. Anyway, hope you guys have a great day. Peace out.